We can very quickly and easily get a little animation going here just by using event pan crop. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. When we get to event pan crop, you're going to get all the details. Bear with me. Take a look. Now I can right click and make this a loop or I could hit control shift L. I added a little bit of motion to the other two tracks as well and this is what we have. Meanwhile, let's take a look over here. Track control. Minimize the track restore it, maximize it, adjust the height to wherever you like it, track title, double click on it, this is the opacity level of the track, Motion blur and track motion are advanced topics that we'll cover thoroughly later. Track effects. Any of the effects that we have available we can insert in that track. Automation settings. We'll have a special section on automation. Then of course we can mute that track or solo it. We can make compositing child or parent with another track. We'll talk about that in great detail. And we can change the compositing mode. We'll discuss that thoroughly as well. Let's insert an audio track and take a look at what we can do with audio. Minimize, maximize the same. Volume, pan, we can record, enable this, arm it for record, and choose which particular input we wish to use. We can invert the track phase. We can add track effects, audio effects. Each audio track comes pre-enabled with track noise gate, track EQ, and track compressor with just basic settings. If you'd like to use these, you're welcome to, or you can take them out. You also have mute and solo on your audio track as well. The timeline and track control in Vegas.